I'm Trudy Haynes and welcome to the Trudy Haynes Show. And today you're going to meet a guy you're going to really love. He's a one man band. His name is Sam Lackey and through the holidays you're going to be calling on him and you'll find out why. You're also going to get some updates on the Uptown Theater. Keisha Coles is here to tell us about her new album. And right now you're going to meet two wonderful gals I like to call the Divas. They're going to be on our show many times to inform you and entertain you. Here they are, right now. Bring you their thing to the Trudy Haynes Show. And two of them are with me tonight, Jean Laws and Sandra Ali. Now, I'm going to introduce them to you. I want you to know who they are. So when they bring you their spe uh, spe specific uh, artists, we want you to recognize them and pay attention. Jean? Yes. Welcome home. I'm saying Thank that you. because I know you've been in, uh, what is it, St. Saint Saint Martin's for and years. Tiga and Guella, every, you name it, you, everywhere. Uh, it, it just afforded me the opportunity to do the whole thing, and that was my activity. Don't just like hang around here. These islands are very close together. You can get to a lot of places, and so we met a lot of, we met a lot of, a lot of people. So it was, I, there, there were people specifically that I worked with because they were talented or the number one talents on the island. And they, were, they would say, no, she's got to come, she's got to come because she can handle this. How long were you there? Too long. <laughs> but this is your home. But how long were this you there? This is my home. Um, I was there, uh, it really was a long time. It was 11, maybe 11, more, than 10, more than 11 years. So you've met people yeah. from all over the world. I have, because one of the things about that business of uh, spe special events planning is that the people who come there for things to take place are from all, all other countries. So you're working mm -hmm. with French people, you're working with uh, people from Turkey. The owners were from Turkey, mm -hmm. so you certainly got that. But you know, it was a good cultural lesson for me, mm -hmm. you know, because a lot of crazy things happened. Like I was talking to the boss who owned the casino and who owns 25 more casinos, so I was being on my best behavior. And he had a meeting with me. He wanted to talk to me about what I do and what I could, how I could help. And when he finished, he turned his back. <laughs> I said, wait well, a minute, you talk to somebody from the hood, you don't know what I'm going to do, wait, that's really crazy, but you didn't even think about it. Well, one thing I want the folks to know about you is that while you were there, you were also directing most of the shows at the casino, yeah. you even sang yourself, yeah. wow. and so you're an entertainer, yeah. in, well, you're one, all in one. One of the advantages of my singing is that when I work with people, see, you, there are lots of deals you can work with, okay, and you don't have to, maybe you don't get paid. But you may be able to stay there indefinitely. You may be able it's to get a, a free, get a free meal. Yeah, definitely. You could do much more negotiating there than you could even consider doing here. Uh, but the advantage is that you actually could experience a lot of different kinds of things. It was like absolutely, I mean, you could. You could Plus, never, you got could the never advantage of the sun and the could water. Could never replace it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> could never replace it. The lady sitting next to Jean Laws is uh, Sandra Ali who in herself uh, is also very famous because she's a reporter on WRD. What is WRD? I sell advertising. You sell advertising, I sell but advertising. you also were sending me by email yes. reports on health, and yes. that's what got me interested in you. What is that? Uh, it's called Healthy Me. It's a Facebook page, and, and anyone is, a, is, is a invited to join. And it just uh, gives you news uh, about health. Say for offense. Uh, we, we cook a lot with oils. Now, you were telling me something before yes. about different oils. Uh, different oils. A vegetable oil, for instance, is not a vegetable. There's no vegetables in, in there, not one single drop. It's chemical. They should say it's chemical oil. A canola oil is another one. Uh, oh, I've been cooking with canola oil. Uh, yeah, I how do about too. the virgin oil? Uh, uh, olive oil? Yeah, the virgin yeah, oil. They, virgin. They're doing a lot with virgin oil uh, these days. Olive oil is good. Olive oil is a good olive, you know, for, for salads, for, for sautéing, but not for deep frying. Uh, because well, that's where I got the canola from. I thought that no, was doing well. Coconut oil would be, would coconut be your oil. And uh, palm oil is, okay. is, is a good oil to now, fry Now, those with. are a little more expensive than the ones we're talking about, but I did find out mm. in using the virgin oil, you don't have to use as much. Mm -hmm. So, and then, of course, you should be baking rather than frying right. and all those That's kind exactly. of things. Are mm -hmm. And then you had some good tips. I remember one about cucumbers. Cucumbers are excellent. You can uh, just slice a cucumber, put it on your eyes just to reduce the swelling. It also lowers your blood Does pressure. Does it really reduce the swelling? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Take it from one Trust me. Know. Yeah. 
<laughs> trust me, yeah. you see me walking around with a cucumber, there's a legitimate reason. <laughs> <laughs> but they are good for... They're, they're good. Uh, cucumbers have a lot of uh, benefits to it. Yeah, well, it, uh, mm -hmm. it relieves joint pain, it uh, reduces cholesterol, it aids in weight loss, and prevents headaches. All this for cucumbers? Cu cucumbers, yeah. Mm. And, I, and what about it? Eat it with the skin or without the skin? Uh, with the skin. But, but you not, have to wash, not wash the it. wax. You yeah, do have to wash it, and it's one, better so to eat issue. organic. Yeah. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you, you have to be careful not to eat the genetically modified foods. They are causing a lot of health risk. Okay. What was the other one you mentioned? Garlic. 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 Is oh, garlic smells too bad. What are you going to do with that? How's that parsley. Healthy? Eat some parsley. Parsley is... And is, go on with it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. what is it good for? Oh, garlic is, is excellent for it. It actually does also lower br uh, blood pressure. Uh, it regulates body weight. Okay, you can't see. Does it help my sure eyesight? Oh. Put your glasses on. <laughs> moringa. I, I would say moringa, and that's what I should. If I should have had that today, moringa uh, cures thir uh, three hundred diseases. It's a herb that comes from Africa. It's called moringa oliferi. Uh, and they Where call do you it, get it? I, I sell it actually. I, I actually sell uh -huh. moringa. Ah, uh, that's what you've been waiting to find. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's just an example mm. of some of the things that you're going to hear on our show mm. and some of the ladies that we're going to see from time to time on the show. And I certainly want to welcome both of you here. Uh, anything else you want to talk to them about so they'll be tuning in to the Trudy Haynes show? Tune in and find out. Okay, exactly. that's an idea. Exactly, and and I promise you, you will see some talent that was sitting right on your doorstep. Could have mm. been your neighbor next door like who? that you haven't really paid attention to. I mentioned to mm. you Vicki Austin, who you keep thinking I'm to tooting her horn too much, but this girl's phenomenal. Uh, she is beautiful, as I've told you that a thousand times, but she sings country music as well as anything else. Mm -hmm. And she absolutely, how many black females do you know to sing country music? I don't know any to tell exactly, you exactly, yeah. and she went to uh, Tennessee to try to get her career started. It's a no-no. It's really very difficult well, you know to break that cycle. I do cycle. like that you've introduced before the comedian. Yes, uh, her name is Irma that, Holmes, and she's mm -hmm. very funny. Uh, and in fact, if you become her friend, you get jokes twenty-four hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> and I know there's one guy that you had at your birthday party that sings. Yeah. And we found out about him by going up you to introduced, uh, Bristol. Yes, you introduced me to him really yeah. I watched you What's interview him Keith Spencer yeah and he has an incredible oh, resume really I mean does, not does. to mention that he has incorporated uh, a show that has all of the black male stars that appeared on Broadway in musicals so you're gonna bring him on oh absolutely and he's, he's gonna a, he's, sing he's, for he's, you yeah. folks so you, you sure. are gonna love it you're gonna be love sure. it yeah. One of the one of the ladies said, "Oh, I could have him sing to me every day, every okay. day." And I said, "That's right. exactly the way you're going to feel when you hear him. He's really, it's just phenomenal, really." And I use those superlatives very easily, but I only work with people who require that, who who you would immediately. That's the person you would say. Okay, Jean Laws and Sandra Ali, they're going to be here on the Trudy Haynes Show. So be sure, be sure to join us every Tuesday and Thursday evenings at 7:30 p.m. and Saturdays at 9:30. On Life and Spirit online and Channel 7. See you there. Hi everyone, my name is Sanji Milburn and I'm here live at the Uptown Theater, better known as the Uptown in North Philadelphia. The Uptown is a historic landmark that brings a lot of history and culture to the city of Philadelphia. It is most remembered as being a place where people of all races could come and enjoy themselves by watching performances and being around their peers. Such R&B performances and acts included Stevie Wonder, The Marvelettes, and Smokey Robinson and The Miracles. The Uptown gave these performers a place to showcase their talents and acts, when at the time, many African Americans could not due to racial segregation. All I know is like the, the old people, the old, back in the school days, you know, back in like 72 when I was born in 71. They used to come here and they used to perform and everybody loved it. They loved it to death and that's all I got to say. I loved it. If they open it, I'll be ready to go back in there. Since the closing of the Uptown, caused by negligence and mismanagement in the 70s, there has been numerous attempts to revive the theater and help fund it. According to Linda Richardson, CEO of the Uptown Theater, the Uptown has a beneficial impact in our community and it was a place people came of all races to relax and have fun real popular at one time. Everybody used to come here. People from all over, all the acts, all the good acts, all the good singers came here, always came here. 
And, you know, I think if they could redo it and, re, you know, redo the building, I think it should be saved and maybe, you know, it'll be like it was, once was. With support from the community and other sponsors in the city of Philadelphia, Linda Richardson and those invested in the theater are constantly finding ways to help reopen the Uptown by having local events to get more people involved. This just shows that the Uptown Theater brings a lot to our community and is an iconic landmark. Donations and sponsorships are welcomed by the committee to bring back what was once a place of entertainment and comfort. This is Sanji Milburn reporting live for the Trudy Haynes Show. Have a good day. Keisha Cole, can't believe we're talking to you. Thank Very exciting. You. Nice to talk to you. How are you doing today? Just great. That's How good. are you? I'm great, thank you. So tell us about your new album and when is it going to be dropped? The album is called Point of No Return and it will be released October 7th, but it's on iTunes. Right now you can pre-order it and also Amazon. And are there any surprises that your fans can anticipate? There's plenty of surprises on the album. We have a bunch of artists featured on the album. We have Wale, August. We have uh, Future, 2 Chains, Juicy J, Faith Evans, a new artist named Gavin Roan, who's also featured on the album. We have 14 videos that we shot, and um, it's pretty much a storytelling album. How fantastic. Uh, tell us about the first single that's been released. It's called She. Why did yes. you choose that particular song to be your first single? Well, we uh, went with She because there were a lot of people at the label who really loved the song. Of course, I loved it because I recorded it. And it was really exciting to shoot the video. I helped direct the video. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, that was an uh, exciting process as well. So is this the first time that you've directed? This is uh, the first time that I was a major part of the direction of the videos, but um, I always throw a little idea in here and there. <laughs> <laughs> and your biography says that uh, she depicts your commitment to self-love. Uh, what are you suggesting when you say, when you talk about self-love? Well, what I meant by that is that, I mean, with the little fun topic of it, I felt like, you know, loving yourself and understanding that you can please yourself and that, you know, if it gets to that point, I mean, don't be too quick to jump into something new. And it, it, although it can be, you know, out there for you to take that option, but I mean, you know, it's okay to love yourself first. That's, uh, that's really true. That's a true statement. Um, we hear that you're back with another reality show on BET. Uh, tell us about the show, and are you happy with it, and what can we expect? Yes, we have the new show on BET that will be airing um, really soon. It's called Keisha Cole All In, and we have my beautiful son on the show. Uh, we have, you know, of course, this process of me shooting these 14 videos and being on the road and still having my son there with me. And we have my, both of my moms that are, you know, around and trying to help out and, um, estranged relationships with family members that are kind of um, broken and, and kind of a hard task to fix, but, you know, trying at least to work things out and, um, you know, we'll see when it comes out. Well, I think it's really interesting that you're dealing with real life issues, you know, career complications, marital issues, and uh, motherhood challenges. How have you been able to stay strong and be able to be the person that you are? Well, I try to um, keep people around me that genuinely support me and um, keep a close relationship with God and pray a lot and also just keep in mind my priorities and you know, what comes first, that what is, means the most. Right. Um, I want to just ask you, uh, your albums have been Grammy nominated and they've sold in multi-platinum status. Uh, I wanted to know who are some of your influences and why? Well, Mary J. Blige, Brandy, 
Faith Evans, which I have on the album, uh, this album, Point of No Return, which comes out October 7th. Uh, she's definitely a major um, influence in my life because I just love her voice and I love her arrangements, vocal arrangements. So having her on this album is definitely a pleasure. And, you know, Mary J. Blige, for her strength. And Brandy is just an amazing singer. And, you know, I've also worked with Monica, who I grew up listening to as well. And all these women, beautiful women, paved the way for me. So being able to work with these ladies would definitely be amazing if I could work with Mary and Brandy. But I've also already worked with Faith Evans and also Monica. If you could describe your philosophy on living your life, what would it be? What would you say your philosophy well, is? Well, just being honest. My philosophy on life is just being honest and being true to yourself and, you know, not feeling that it's not okay to express how you feel or be honest with people around you about how you feel and them also being honest about you and how you make them feel, you know. Um, and that's really pretty much what the reality show is about. There's a lot of relationships that, you know, are strange, like I said, but trying to go in and try to fix things and even, you know, going through the divorce with my husband as well. You know, we're still co-parenting. And as young adults, we're trying to put our feelings aside and trying to put our personal gain aside and focus on our child. Wonderful. And if you were this to describe this album in one word, what might that be? Extraordinary. No. Well, you are Amazing. extraordinary. No. <laughs> Thank you. I, you're both, Keisha Cole. Thank you, you so, so much for spending time with us this morning. No, and you for we me. wish you nothing but continued success. You are so sweet. Thank you. Enjoy Thank you. You too. That's Sam Lockie, who sings and brings his own accompaniment with him, old faithful synthesizer with him. Sam Lockie is the ideal all-in-one band entertainer for most affairs, small, like dinner parties, wedding parties, or large, like this spacious backyard picnic for the members of Green Church in Glen Falls, Pennsylvania. Sam has been entertaining for years with his master of the keyboards and a soul-filled baritone voice. He's made quite a career of being on call anytime, anywhere oh, with you. memorable music. Well, it, it started uh, because uh, I had ideas and I needed help from people and I couldn't get help and technology came about. And uh, I, I first started as a guitarist. I worked with Bill Dockett at the Flamingos and a lot of other groups uh, back during the 60s. and. Uh, Later on, I went to, I uh, played at Carnegie Hall with Doug Karn, I played guitar for him, and he had a synthesizer there. And that, uh, he had the Moog synthesizer, and I was intrigued by that. And so later on, I bought one, and uh, not a Moog, but it was by another company. But later on, I had a chance to meet Bob Moog, the inventor of the Moog mm -hmm. synthesizer. I did a, uh, spent a whole half a day with him. Uh, learning about the development of the instrument. And uh, I found that even though it would be hard for me to get the Philadelphia Orchestra or some orchestra to play for me, I could put an orchestra under my fingertips right. and, and, and do whatever it is that I could do with my mu music abilities. What is the fire in you when you do this? I mean, what inspires you? Oh, I've been doing it so long, I don't think I could do anything else. Uh, I, I, I love it. Uh, it's a power in the music. Uh, you can help people feel good. Uh, you can take people on, on journeys through time, some pleasant moments. Uh, uh, and you, when you've been around for a while, uh, uh, hearing a lot of the popular music, uh, you'll always find something that somebody can relate to to from uh, maybe some period in their youth, a romance, uh, even a death. It, I mean, it, it's, it's a whole myriad of, uh, of uh, occasions and so on people can associate the music to. Our, our wedding song, our, our first dance, and so on. And uh, also, I found that uh, it's a healing power because I've had a chance to go to a couple of nursing homes mm -hmm 
and uh, I see people that would normally be sitting around not feeling good or whatever. They perk up. Uh, they take those little journeys like I'm talking about. Uh, one man was intrigued uh, when I mentioned I played at Club Harlem with uh, Bill Doggett. Mm. And that's all he would talk about his days at the Club Harlem. He'd tell everybody, yeah, I saw him there when he played at Club Harlem. And uh, he was a man who wouldn't hardly say anything. And then I played a song called Stardust. Uh, and a man stood up and he started crying. And he said, we, we sang that at my graduation, my high school graduation. He was mm. about... And it probably was in his 80s, uh, and it brought memories back to him. It's therapeutic then for mm -hmm. the people and for you. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it 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 for me, it it, it gives me self worth also mm -hmm. to, to know that that I can affect someone that way with what I do. Mm -hmm. How do people get in touch with you? I mean, this seems like this would be a, a natural to call on you when they have affairs and things like that. So how do they get in touch with you? Uh, they usually get in touch with me through somebody else that uh, that heard me do what I do. Uh, I have not been great at advertising. Uh, uh, usually someone who knows someone. Yeah. How did you get out here to the Greenhouse Church? <laughs> the Green Church? The Green Church, I have some friends uh, that live in, uh, in, they were living in Upper Darby. Uh, mm -hmm. Matter of fact, uh, the Flemings, uh, Betty mm -hmm. Clark Fleming, her and her husband, Eugene Fleming, they were attending here and they thought this would be a good place for me to come out to and so they introduced me to the pastor. And she had come out to one of my programs over at the First Unitarian Church at Philadelphia. And the Green Church and the Sea House, they, they're just wonderful. Uh, sure is. Mm -hmm. yeah. I come out on a Sunday, and I, I don't even want to go back to Philly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what I'd like you to do? Did you give me the number where people could call you or get in touch with you? Uh, yes. Uh, you could call me at uh, area code 215-917-8440. This event was just the kind of showcase for Sam's talents. Nights outdoors, surroundings that were pleasant, appreciative audience, including his good friend Jack Harris, who often teams up with Sam, making their appearance together an unusual, odd twosome, but most entertaining and very informative. Uh, the, the primary message that I want to get, along, get across to everybody is the message in America and Peace, the song that uh, Sam just sang that I wrote uh, in t before I published my book in 2007. Tell me what this song is about and why it's important to you. And look at me. It's, uh, the song is, the song I believe is, is the truth about America and what we want to do for the world. Uh, to have a peaceful, understanding world. That's not, uh, that is, uh, our weapons are too powerful to use. Who's listening to me, Sam? Who's listening? Who's heard you? My friend Sam Lackey, uh, and uh, I hope Trudy Haynes, uh, but uh, I'm just beginning to get that word out. Uh, uh, John Leary uh, also helped me. Uh, we did a commercial with him and Shirley Carter just a week or two ago, uh, and they're all trying to help me, including yourself trying to help me get my message out that we can have a peaceful, honorable world within less than 50 years. Now, you're also very interested in the survival of animals and plants and things like that. Well, uh, that's why I did the Team Earth shirt, uh, is uh, the conservation of this world is very, very important to me. I've been a hunter and a fisherman and a scuba diver all my life. And uh, it's just such a beautiful world, and there are so many beautiful species. And uh, I love taking sunrise and sunset pictures. Photographs of uh, with beautiful scenery in the back. Well, uh, it's, it's, you have a farm, don't you? No, I don't. No, I, I've lived in the Scranton city of Scranton all my life. Uh, well, uh, my, my grandfather was a hunter and a fisherman, 
My father was a diehard fisherman. Uh, every Saturday we would go fishing at a different lake within 50 miles of Scranton. And uh, uh, if, if fish are being used for food, uh, there has to be some harvesting of fish and uh, 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 animals. Uh, animals overpopulate. They compete with people for food. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with the legitimate uh, hunting and harvesting of some excess animal. Now, you also had a book written. Uh, that's, my book was Beyond My Wildest Dreams, uh, the name of it. Uh, I worked for 20 years with the Pennsylvania Black Bear Research Team, trapping, tagging, cowering black bears with Dr. Gary Alt. Uh, so I put my hands on almost 300 black bears here in the state of Pennsylvania. I could have called the book The Truth About Bears. Uh, they are not normally aggressive to people. Uh, it's, very, it's extremely rare that a bear hurts anyone, uh, but it can happen. They are natural predators. Well, Jack, in saying to all the people who are watching us now, what do you want to leave them with? Uh, let's have a peaceful and a better world for people and animals. That's, and that's my request. How do they get in touch with you? Uh, through my website, jackswildlifedreams.com. Uh, and you can call. You can call. I am trying to get as many lectures or uh, interviews like this about world peace and Mother uh, Team Earth, uh, as I possibly can. Uh, you can see by my photographs that I love this world. Mm -hmm. And uh, some, pe some young people should realize that the biggest job market in the next 40 or 50 years is going to be in or around the ocean. We have to have clean water on this planet. You're right. You're right, Jack. Okay. It's a pleasure to meet you. Okay. All Thank right. You. Sam and Jack go together well, like cheese and crackers, which was very much to the liking of Dr. Jerry Williams, the pastor of the neighborhood Green Church just down the road. The church uh, was originally Drexel Home Baptist Church. It's uh, 125 years old. And when did you change the name? Uh, just three years ago. Um, well, we moved um, from a 22,000 acre, I mean 22,000 square foot facility and we decided we were paying a lot for electricity and um, oil and uh, we thought there should be a better way. So we decided to go green and we came to a smaller facility um, that had a lot of property so we could do like a farm and, you know, be more self-sustaining and uh, more eco-friendly. So now I see you have a nice facility here, the house yes. and the swimming pool and all that. Does that make it nicer too? <laughs> Absolutely it does. And it's very, um, you know, as a church, we want to draw people to God. And our, our setting is very attractive <laughs> to people, and, and especially children. And so a lot of people were, were experiencing that the, the children are bringing their parents to church and they're, um, they're just very excited about being here on Sundays because uh, during the summer we have the pool and um, we play games and things Sam. like that. Sam. And Sam, yeah, <laughs> and uh, Sam comes is, is playing beautiful music and it's just a, a wonderful time that we have. And in the winter we have, um, we put up an ice skating rink oh. and so the kids can ice skate. And uh, it's turned out to be a wonderful, you know, not only a nice witness to the community. I would say a friendly but, church. But yes, <laughs> lots of fun. We spend all Sunday together, which oh, is wonderful. Nice. That's nice. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Well, it could not have been a nicer summer Sunday with spacious surroundings, cooling amenities, plenty to eat, and of course, easy listening to the sounds of Sam Lackey with his old faithful synthesizer. And by the way, you can have this same advantage for your next event. Just Google him. This is Trudy Haynes reporting. Well, it's time to go. I'm Trudy Haynes, and thank you for being with us. Remember to join us every Tuesday and Thursday at 7.30 p.m. and on Saturdays at 7.30 a.m. In the meantime, have a blessed day.